Today I wanted to answer a question that I received recently from Rhonda and that question is how to keep your hair topper from going flat on top by end of the day. I personally li don't like to have a lot of volume in my hair topper, but obviously you do not want to have a topper looking really flat on top because that is not how our own natural hair looks. So you do want to add a little bit of a volume into those roots. And personally for me, I don't have any of these issues, but I do have a very easy and a simple technique that you can do to actually add volume into the roots of your hair topper. And I've um, learned about this technique a while ago and I've been wanting to share it with you. And now that Rhonda actually asked the question, I think it was a perfect time for me to sit down and record a video and show you how this can be done. I've um, originally saw this trick on Instagram by somebody that I really don't know who it was because it's been a while ago, otherwise I would mention that person in this video. What you're gonna have to do is wash your hair topper as you would normally do with the shampoo and conditioner, and then instead of laying your hair topper flat as I usually do and recommend, you're going to do you're going to use something that you can create a loop that will hold the topper upside down. And then you're going to leave the topper overnight in the tub to dry and the next day uh, you're going to have something like this. So the next day your topper is going to be dry and it's going to have a lot of texture as you can see. So this is the next day. The topper is now dry as you saw. I left it on overnight but uh, you, might, you might be a little bit thrown off with... Uh, topper looking like this uh, but you can see that when our toppers dry naturally they have a very natural hair texture and usually I like to wear this topper the next day after I wash my hair if I leave my hair to naturally dry because my hair is exactly like this uh, when it naturally dries and I don't do anything to it so this is a um, how it looks and now I'm going to show you how you're going to style the topper so I'm going to take this one off. Put the topper on. I'm going to take a straightener and I'm going to straighten the bottom portion of the topper just because the lace is a little, it has a little bit of a bent in it, but that will uh, straighten as you start wearing it. I am going to straighten the bottom portion first and then we will see what else we need to do to it. So I'm going to use the straightener and I also have a curling iron here which I'm going to turn on just in case if we need to do any um, adjustments with that. And you can also use the straightener to curl the hair but I usually don't like to use the straightener to curl the hair because I don't want to pull on the topper when I have it on my head. So we're going to install the topper and you're going to have the hair going all over the place. We're going to make this work. Okay, as you already can see, there's a lot of volume and it looks very like you would look on your own hair if you would braid it or, you know, and the next day you would just like let the braids go. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to fix the front part because it just doesn't look right. So I'm going to take a straightener, I'm going to take a brush, and I'm going to straighten this portion right here.
And you can see that the hair, it just keeps uh, standing up. Uh, it has lots of volume. And the roots are voluminous as well. And you can uh, obviously straighten this. If you don't want to have as much texture, you can take the straightener and you can just go like this. And you can do the same on the other side. Just take a small portion and then you're going to l rotate by lifting it up. You can see. And you can see it's standing up. And then you can do the same thing for the back. And you can go all around your head by doing this. And if you don't like this texture on the bottom, we're going to curl that. I go slow. And as you can see, there is a lot of volume on this hair topper. And if I had a naturally dry hair, I would probably leave this texture on. But if you don't want to have this texture, all you're going to do is you're going to curl the bottom portion. And even like if you put your fingers through the hair, you can see how much volume is in there. And so this is the Divine Top and Divine Top has a lot of hair already as it is. But if you want to have a volume and have volume on top of your head, like this so it doesn't sit you know flatter uh, on top this is what you have to do and then what you can do you can add a um, a hairspray or a texturizing hairspray and you can just uh, lift the hair up and spray and this should last you until the next time you want to wash your hair topper this is really great way to add volume at the roots and have a big hair. I also wanted to show you, so this is the how the topper is going to look when it's dry laying flat and I wanted to show you to put on the topper without styling it or anything to show you how it looks. All right, so this is how the topper looks when it's uh, just washed and dried, and this is the texture of the topper. And obviously, I always style my toppers when you're dealing with the human hair. That is what you have to do. Unfortunately, you have to style your hair topper. You either have to straighten it or you have to curl it with the curling wand, just like your own hair. This is the difference between the drying the topper flat and drying the topper upside down. As you can see, there is uh, this hair topper looks very natural as your own hair would, but you know, I understand some of you would like to have more texture on top. And even if I wanted to add texture in this topper, I probably could by uh, taking a straightener. You can take the portion of the hair So you're going to take a little bit of hair and you're going to straighten this by rotating the straightener and roots up. And as you can see, it lifts the roots. And then you're going to obviously take this portion. And you can see that already it adds added a lot of a lot more volume here on this side than it did on that. And you can go all throughout and keep doing that and you're gonna get a lot more volume obviously in in your topper and you can see this is the 
lifted root and this is how it looks naturally dried as i said it is super easy and simple i wanted to just quickly record the video and show you this trick in case you were wondering how to keep the uh, roots volumized in your hair topper and not really looking so flat and i hope that you have enjoyed this video if you did click that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one if you do know anyone that would enjoy these videos please share them with your friends and if you would like to be the first to know about our special offers and discounts i'd recommend you visit our website and get on our email list please if you have any questions for me leave them down in the comments below or send me an email i'd love to hear from you again thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you next time